Hi, welcome to Moving Mango and today we are going to do a quick butt and thighs pilates workout to help you tone your whole inner thighs and outer thighs and tone your butt to make it look bigger and rounder at the same time so if you're ready, just roll your mat, let's do this together Alright, now let's start by some warm-up movement before we start the main workout. So sit tall with your back in neutral, open your legs as wide as you can and soften your knees. Inhale, exhale, bring your knees as low as you can all the way down to the mat and lift it up. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, keep breathing, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one and then slowly bend one knee lengthen one leg to the side flex the ankle now open your arm to the side inhale lean on one side exhale come back and five four belly button in relax your shoulders three engage your core two reach your head a little bit further last one and switch to the opposite side flex the ankle and reach your hand come back and five, four, three, very good, two, and last one, and slowly bring your hands down to the mat. Now, allow yourself to lie all the way down, and we're gonna start the main workout with the side kick series. So, hands support your head, or you can rest your head all the way down if it's easier for the wrist and the neck. Lengthen your legs. Make sure you stabilize your hips here, pull the belly button in the other hand in front of your chest and keep your shoulders far away from your ears. Now inhale and slowly lift your top leg just above the hips and flex the ankle and lengthen so 10, 9, keep breathing, stabilize your whole torso, 7, good, 6, keep breathing and 5, 4, 3, 2 and last one and now flex the ankle rotate your knee up to the ceiling inhale lift your leg up exhale bring it down with control you kind of feel your leg is shaking so 10 times here relax your whole torso and shoulders here 10 pull the belly button in 9 stabilize your hips 8 come back press your lower leg down and 7 you can soften your bottom knee if it's easier for your balance 6 do it slowly with control so you feel the challenge more, the burn more. And five, that's amazing. Four, inhale and exhale. And three, good. Two, and last one. And slowly bring your leg down, rotate your knee to the front again. Extend the ankle. Now I want you to inhale and soften your bottom knee to 90 degree. Inhale and kick your leg all the way towards the front. Slowly bring it back. 10 times, so 10, keep breathing, 9, pull the belly button in, just go as far as you can, 8, stabilize your hips, inhale, kick, exhale, come back, relax your shoulders, and 5, good, 4, don't hold your breath, use the breath to control the movement. Two more times. And last one. And slowly bring your legs back to the front. So extend the ankle, engage your core. Now I want to inhale, rest your head down on your arm. Now this time slowly lift both legs up, flex the ankle and lift your top leg as high as you can come back. So you can lower your legs or just bring your bottom leg down all the way if it's easier for you just listen to your body and make sure you keep the hips stabilized so 10 keep breathing only the top leg is moving nine eight very good seven engage your core six keep breathing and five more times you got your own breath four belly button in three and two and last one lift and down bring both legs down to the mat bend your knees to 90 degrees extend the ankle open your knee as wide as you can lift tip up and down toes touch so 10 9 8 keep breathing 7 relax your shoulders 6 and 5 good 
four, belly button in, three, two, and last one, and slowly bring it back. The same movement, but we're gonna add a little bit move in between. So lift it up as high as you can, knees touch, and then rotate and bring it down 10 times. So 10, touch knee, come back and down, and nine, knees touch, come back and lift, eight, engage your core, make a precise movement here. And seven, open as high as you can before you bring your leg down. Six, that's amazing, engage your core, squeeze your inner thighs, five, very good. Bring it up and down slowly. Inhale halfway, exhale halfway. Two. And last one, down, lift, and down, and close your knees, straight your hips. The next movement, I wanted to lengthen your top leg to the front, extend the ankle, lift just about the hips. Now I wanted to inhale and slowly draw a circle here. So 10, you can move your leg away if it's easier for you. Nine, eight, do it slowly. Seven, press your lower leg down, stabilize your torso. Six, five, and four, good. Inhale and exhale. Two, and last one. And then reverse for 10, nine, good. Eight, keep breathing. Seven, six, oh, it feels amazing, five, I hope you're enjoying it. Four. And don't drop it. And last one. And now slowly bring your leg down, bend your knees. Give a little bit massage on your tongue if you need. And slowly bring your knees back to the center. Lengthen your bottom leg. Flex the ankle. Now inhale and lift your bottom leg up and down. For ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, good, two, and last one, lift and down, extend the ankle and lift it up. Now I wanted to start to rotate a circle, tiny circle here with your legs, so ten, nine, eight, do it slowly, seven, your whole leg is moving, four, every movement start from your hips, three, two, and last one, reverse for 10, 9, 8, 7, good, 6, and 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one, and slowly bring your leg down. Alright, now I'm going to inhale and slowly lift both knees, heels up and knees down to the mat, engage your core and slowly lift your front leg up and down, press your hand down, so 10, 9, as high as you can, 8, engage your core, 7, it's easier for you to lengthen your bottom leg, then feel free to do it, otherwise just bend, and 4, good, 3, that's amazing, 2, and last one, lift, and down, lengthen your legs, bend both knees to 90 degree, give a little massage again, and let us the last movement here, open your whole leg as wide as you can and then bring it back, kick and bend, so 10 times like this, open, come back, kick and bend, and 9, you don't have to go all the way to the front, just listen to your whole body, so just go as far as you can, 8, inhale, open, come back, and 7, open, 6, and squeeze your inner thighs and four more times with your own breath three, keep breathing and two that's a bit amazing <laughs> last one and slowly bring your legs down shake your hips, inhale deeply to your nose exhale deeply through your mouth give a massage you're gonna go to the other side to do the psychic theory so again, hands support your head, the other hand in front of your chest. Relax your shoulders and lengthen both legs to the front. Now inhale and slowly lift your top leg just about the hips. Flex both the ankles and then extend for 10, 9. Keep breathing. 8, 7, 
six, and five more times with your own breath. Four, three, two, last one. All right, now flex the ankle here. Rotate your top knee up. Try to lift as high as you can and slowly bring it down with control for your leg is burning. So ten, keep breathing. Anytime you need more support with the neck and the wrist, just rest your head down and lengthen your arm down to the mat. It slowly bring it down. Very good. Seven. Six. Relax your shoulders. And five. Squeeze your inner thigh. Squeeze your booty. Four. Inhale up. Exhale down. Three. Two. And last one. And slowly rotate your knee back. Bring your legs down. Bend your knees to 90 degrees. Lengthen your leg to the front again. Relax your shoulders. Inhale, kick your leg towards the front. Exhale, bring it back 10 times. So rest your head down if you need to. 10. And 9. Stabilize your hips. Belly button in. Engage your core. 8. 7. Press your lower leg down, six, amazing, and five, inhale, and exhale, four, belly button in, three, and two more times with your own breath, and last one, and slowly bring your legs down to the mat, shake your hips and lift, lengthen your legs again, now lift both legs just above the hips, or just keep your bottom leg down if it's easier for you if you're a beginner. You want to engage your core, lift your top leg as far as you can and then come back 10 times. So 10, keep breathing. And 9, belly button in. 8, relax your shoulders. 7, stabilize your hips. 6, squeeze your inner thighs, bring it down slowly. Keep breathing. And three more times with your own breath. Two. And last one. Up and down. And slowly bring both legs down. Bend your knees to 90 degrees. Extend the ankle. Open your knee as wide as you can. Lift tip up and down. Toes touch. So ten. Nine. Eight. Keep breathing. Seven. Relax your shoulders. Six. And five. Good. Four, belly button in, three, two, and last one, and slowly bring it back. The same movement, but we're going to add a little bit move in between. So lift it up as high as you can, knees touch, and then rotate, and bring it down ten times. So ten, touch knee, come back, and down, and nine, knees touch, come back, and lift, eight, engage your core, make a precise movement here. And seven, open as high as you can before you bring your leg down. Six, that's amazing. Engage your core. Squeeze your inner thighs. Five, very good. Bring it up and down slowly. Inhale halfway. Exhale halfway. Two. And last one. Down, lift, and down. And close your knees, straight your hips, your top leg. Just lengthen and lift just above the hips. Draw a circle here. So 10, do it slowly. 9, good. Feel your hips crazy burning here. 8, I always love psychic theory so much. 7, 6, and 5, 4. Inhale halfway, exhale halfway. 3, 2, and last one. And then reverse for 10, 9, good, 8, keep breathing, 7, 6, 5, 4, and don't drop it, try to go a little bit more, you're almost done, and last one, and then slowly bring your leg down, bend your knees, give a little bit massage on your time if you need. Now I wanted to engage your core, lengthen your bottom leg again and slowly lift your leg up, flex the ankle, bring it down 10 times. So 10, 9, feel your inner thigh is burning, 8, 
seven, try to go as high as you can, six, and five, four, good, three, keep breathing, two, last one, now lift your leg up, extend the angle, start to rotate, tiny circle, so ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, very good, two, last one, reverse, for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and one, and slowly bring your leg down. All right, now I'm going to inhale and slowly lift both the heels up and knees down to the mat. Engage your core and slowly lift your front leg up and down. Press your hand down. So ten, nine, as high as you can. Eight, engage your core. Seven, it's easier for you to lengthen your bottom leg and feel free to do it. Otherwise, just bend. And four. Good. Three. That's amazing. Two. And last one. Lift and down. Bend both knees again. Shut your heels. Inhale deeply to your nose. Rotate the ankles and then reverse. And now slowly engage your core. Open your leg as wide as you can. Bring it down. And lengthen. Come back. And open. Ten. Lengthen. Bring it back. Nine, stabilize your hips, bring it down slowly, squeeze your inner thighs. Eight, with control, come back. Seven, the slower we do, the more challenging it is. Six, belly button in. And five more times with your own breath. Four, inhale and exhale. Three, and two, open, come back. And last one. And lengthen and slowly bend your knees, shut your hips, and inhale deeply, rotate the ankles, and then reverse. Inhale deeply to your nose. Exit deeply through your mouth. That's amazing. Now I want you to allow yourself to come to sit along the mat and we're going to do some cool down before we complete the workout today. Lengthen your legs, extend the ankle, lengthen your spine, soften your knees if you need to relax your shoulders and bring your knees down and back. So 10, 9, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and last one, and flex the ankle, hand on hand, and slowly rotate the torso to the opposite side. So five, four, very good. Three, soften your knees anytime if it's easier for you. Two, and last one, to the other side, come back, lengthen your legs again, hands to the front, and flex forward, come back. So round your spine, your upper spine here, and try to lengthen your lower back still, if it's easier for your lower back. So just listen to your body. Otherwise, try to go as fast as you can and feel comfortable. So four, good. Three, two, and last one. Flex forward, come back. Keep your feet toward the center. Start to make a little pulse here. And 10, nine, Eight, seven, six, five, four, good, three, two, last one. All right, now bring one leg further and one leg closer towards the hips and walk your whole hand to the one side, to the side that you bring your foot further. Good. Hold it here for a couple more seconds, feel your hip is stretching and listen to your body so you don't have to go so far. Move your hand back if it's more comfortable with the lower back. And then slowly walk back to the opposite side. Walk further, feel your hip as stretching and then slowly hold it here for a couple seconds, take deep breath and exhale deeply, walk back to the center. Open your leg as wide as you can, flex the ankle. Flex your whole body to one side, feel your hamstring is stretching and to the opposite side. And bring it back to the center one more time. To the opposite side and slowly bring your torso back. Shake your hips and hold deeply. Lengthen your legs to the front, flex the ankles again. And lengthen, bring it down, come back. 
and four. Slowly listen to your body, slightly engage your core. Relax your shoulders, two. And last one. And slowly bring it back, one knee to the front, one knee to the back. Rotate and bring it back. And one more time to the opposite side. Rotate, come back to the opposite side and slowly bring your legs back to the center. Shake your hips and head deeply to your nose. Exhale deeply through your mouth. One more deep breath and exhale. And that's the workout today. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to see you tomorrow for the next workout. Bye bye.